In this video, we'll look at whether iron 3 chloride, that's FeCl3, is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So to do that, we need to know the neutralization reaction that created the iron 3 chloride. So if we have iron 3 hydroxide, this is our base because we have that OH there, then we have hydrochloric acid. It's an acid, we have that hydrogen on the front. We'll end up with iron 3 chloride in water. It's a neutralization reaction. Once we know the equation, then we need to figure out the strengths of the reactants. This table here is really useful for doing that, something you might want to memorize. On the table, we don't see iron 3 hydroxide under our strong bases, so it's going to be a weak base. For hydrochloric acid, though, that's right here. That's a strong acid. SA up there, strong acid. So now we know the strengths of the acid and the base here. Now we can use our rules to figure out whether FeCl3 is acetic, basic, or neutral when it's dissolved in water. So we have a weak base and a strong acid. Here's a weak base, strong acid. So the pH is going to be less than 7. That means the solution will be acetic. So in answer to our question, iron 3 chloride, FeCl3, will be acetic when it's dissolved in water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.